Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's week four of the Axial Honcho Budget Build-Off. Cue the intro. So here we are, week four. If you aren't familiar with the budget build-off format, what uh, Josh and I are doing each week is spending $50 and making some sort of modification, whether it be performance or cosmetic, um, without trying to go over that budget. I have not been successful every week, but the last two weeks I have certainly come back on board. And I think this week is gonna be another one where we're staying in the black. I'd like to thank everybody for the tremendous response to week three. Uh, I've never had to type so many responses to comments before. Um, there were over 500 responses and thank you. I really appreciate that. That shows me that people are actually watching these things and maybe even getting something out of it. Additionally, I certainly didn't expect the huge response that the bumper sticker kits got. Thank you so much for picking those up. Uh, we are basically sold out and uh, that's pretty amazing. I didn't think that they would go as quickly as they did. Um, we may have to do another run or maybe we'll do like a 2018.5 uh, kit so we can get some more comical bumper stickers in there. Thank you. This is uh, turning out to be a very successful series and I'm really enjoying it. So this is going to be definitely a more cheap week again. Um, I'm looking to build up some uh, money in the kitty and uh, I'm sure you can understand why that might be. The idea here is to try to get something maybe a little more expensive in week five. What I wanted to accomplish this week was a few more exterior details just to give it a little bit more uh, in the accuracy and looks department, I guess, really. And picked up the Axial 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ uh, details tree. The parts I use specifically from that parts tree are the door mirrors and the door handles. Yes, they're for an XJ, but they do look pretty good on here, if I'm honest. For the mirrors specifically, they include uh, the uh, hardware on the backside. I just had to do a little trim on that to make sure it fit into the area that I was uh, putting it into. For the door handles, drill a couple of holes, and I use shoe goo. I find that it uh, is a very secure hold, um, and you don't really need to uh, worry about body pins or anything like that. And then they, even with the body pin and a, a gasket, it tends to be a little loose, so I just like to make sure it's totally in place. That parts tree is $19.99. You can pick it up at RPP Hobby, and I'll put the code in the description below so you can pick one up for yourself. Or I'll just link to it, I guess. The second thing that I did was pick up the Axial Corbo um, seats. You may recognize these from the Wraith kit. Um, I think they look great and they uh, just kind of finish out the interior. I haven't mounted them yet. I will show that in uh, the next episode or the episode after. I just want to make sure that I've got my interior primed and painted before I start mounting seats. Uh, I don't want to have to, you know, mask them off. That doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, I'll probably add some seatbelt details. I like to make sure I put as much effort in to make sure it looks as realistic as possible. And if your truck doesn't have seatbelts, well, hey, that's unsafe. For another little touch of realism, I cut out the Lexan windows. And I always like to make it look like they're not always all the way rolled down. What I do is I follow the contour of the window frame when I'm doing the cutting. So it actually looks like the window's been rolled down just a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier for the casual person to just kind of look inside and see the interior details. Plus, you know what? When you're out on the trails, nothing better than feeling the wind in your hair. Finally, for this week, I decided to, rather than buy a set of wipers, I decided to show how to scratch build your own set of wipers from some scrap styrene. Uh, it's a very simple process. Uh, it doesn't require much in the way of sanding or shaping. Uh, it's, it's really, it's dead simple. Um, I ended up uh, using a few pieces of scrap styrene that I had in my styrene bin. Uh, we will account for that in the budget, obviously. It's uh, it's just a nice little addition, and for me, it just adds so much to see a set of real wipers on the front of the truck. I think it really complements the rest of the exterior details that I've added this week, and just overall makes it look a lot better. Uh, okay, I guess it's time to announce both our giveaway winner and to do a tally. So let me get out my laptop. 
Uh, I've selected through all of the 500 plus comments and randomly landed on Rain City RC. So if that's you, congratulations, you've just won a uh, you've just won some stuff. Uh, what'd you win? You just won a bumper sticker set, a patch, and what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the TRD stickers. Uh, thank you so much for participating and commenting on the video. And uh, I'm going to reach out to you in whatever manner I can, and we'll get that prize pack out to you right away. Thanks to responsible spending in week three, I had $7.81 remaining. So for week four, giving me a total of $57.81, I spent $19.99 on the Cherokee XJ exterior parts, I spent $21.99 on the Corbo seats, and I spent $3 in scrap styrene for a total of $42.98 spent, giving me an over-under of $7.02, and with last week's responsible spending, I'm at $14.83 remaining. Looking good! So that's it for week four. Don't worry, I will start doing some mechanical and some, some performance style upgrades that I think are gonna really make this truck shine. Uh, but I wanted to get all the cosmetic stuff kind of out of the way. I just, you know what? It's my favorite part, man. I just love doing that stuff. If there's an exterior detail that you think I've missed or something that you think I should add, definitely post below. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, subscribe up here, uh, like over here, I don't know where the notification bell is. It doesn't matter. Be sure to check out Josh's video. I will link to it right there. We'll see you in week five.